Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial on Python automation. Uh, this will be another short tutorial on PyAuto GUI, one of my favorite automation packages for Python. Uh, this package can be imported by using import PyAuto GUI. You're going to want to make sure that it's installed on your system or on your virtual environment. So you're going to want to do pip install PyAuto GUI. And it's already installed on my machine. Um, in some cases it might be pip3, so just watch out for that. So today we're going to be covering uh, mouse input. Uh, you can already see another video that I did on keyboard input, so we won't be talking about keyboards. Uh, today we're going to be talking about mouse control, making the computer move the mouse around automatically for you. Um, some very cool stuff. So first let's start with the basics. If we want to move the mouse from or to a, a specific point on the screen, uh, we can use the move to uh, function. So we would call pyautogui dot move to. And then here we're going to put in our uh, pixel coordinates. So um, first it might be good to print out the resolution of your screen before we start playing around here. So let's actually do that first. So let's do a uh, quick print and let's put in pyautogui dot size. This function dot size is going to give us the size of the uh, of the screen in uh, pixel resolution. So let's run this, and you can see that my screen is a 1920 by 1080. Yours may vary; doesn't matter. Okay, so next, let's go back to that function. So we want to move. Let's say we want to move the uh, mouse to 500, 500. Well, that's going to be relative to the top left corner. So you can think of the top left corner as zero zero. And as we move to the right, that's going to increase in the x direction and the width direction. And as we move down, that's going to increase in the height direction. Okay, so let's. So if we move to 500, 500, it sh the mouse should be somewhere, I guess, around here. So let's do Python, or sorry, pi auto GUI dot move to, and we'll do 500, 500. So this should immediately put the mouse, which is over here, somewhere over here. Let's see what happens. Save that and run that. And there you go, moved it right over here instantly. See how that's instantaneous? Okay. So in a lot of uh, applications, we might want to move the mouse to a location, but we don't want it to be instant like that because that doesn't really emulate uh, natural human-like behavior, which is important, especially if you are trying to emulate humans or if you're trying to avoid anti-cheats or that kind of stuff. So we can actually move this uh, with respect to time. So we can do a we can add another variable, the, uh, a parameter, duration, and we can specify that movement to occur over a period of time. So if I were to put in three, that would indicate I want to move that mouse over three seconds. So let's run it. And there you go. So it's going to move the mouse uh, in a linear fashion uh, from point A to point B over three seconds. That's probably too slow to emulate human-like behavior. Maybe we want to change this to uh, something like 0.15 and let's run it and that might have been a little bit too quick let's do uh, point uh, four let's try that there you go that's a pretty human-like movement okay so the next thing we want to do is we want to make this look a little more human-like uh, we don't want the mouse to just move linearly from a to b like that that's still not human-like behavior and pi auto gui has some uh, tween easing functions that can be used. Uh, for example, we could do a pi auto GUI. So this is going to be the tween parameter, pi auto GUI dot. We could do a ease in. Out quad. If I can spell that right. So we want to pass in pi auto GUI ease in out. This is going to ease in and ease out, for example. And I know that was kind of quick, so let me slow it down so you can see that a little bit better. Let's do uh, two seconds on that. So if you notice, it's going to speed up in the beginning and then speed back down. That kind of emulates more like a human-like behavior. Uh, another one might be uh, ease out. You might want to use ease out quad. So this is going to only kind of ease 
ease towards the end, which is maybe a little bit more human-like since usually people go real quick towards something and then they kind of slow down as they get closer to their target to kind of to kind of hit it with the mouse. So that's a uh, mouse move too. Um, now we can also obviously uh, move the mouse relative to the current position. So what if we want to move the mouse from its current position to another position, uh, but we don't know the exact coordinate. We just maybe have some sort of, you know, uh, number of pixels that we want to move it by. So it also has the move function. So we could do pyautogui.move instead of move to. And what we could do is we could say here, let's say 100, 100, or let's do a minus 100, minus 100, or we'll do minus 100 plus 100. So it should move minus in the X direction and positive in the Y. That way when I click this arrow, should want to move down here. And let's do that over the course of two seconds to make display that a little easier. And there you go. So now it's going to move relative to that current position. Okay. And the same thing we could do a, uh, we could do an ease in quad as another example, instead of ease out and we could do the same kind of thing. So it's going to ease in. If you saw that it's kind of slow in the beginning and then a little bit faster. So it's a little slow and then speeds up. That's what that ease in quad function does there or parameter, I should say. Okay, so another important thing that we want to do is we want to be able to click the mouse. Uh, clicking is very important for mouse function, so that's also very easy. So we could do pyautogui.click. And if I do this, it's going to click again. So it, see that? It, it click, 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 because every time it clicks, it reruns this function. So it's actually going to create like an infinite loop. Running the program causes the mouse to click, which runs the program, which causes it to click. So that's kind of funny. Uh, we can also do a right click. So how, how could we do that? Or a different button. So what we can do is we can specify a parameter, button equals. And we could specify left explicitly, which is what we just did, which is the default value. But we could also say we want to click the right mouse button. So now if I save this and run, it should click the right button, which it did. So you can see as soon as I clicked the application and it ran, it immediately clicked the right mouse button. Very cool. So another thing that we can do is, uh, and this, this can be useful if you don't wanna, if you're trying not to emulate human-like behavior and you're just trying to automate things to be as quick and efficient as possible, is we can, uh, we can click Add a, we can combine a move and a click uh, at the same time. So we can call pyautogui.click. So we want to left click the mouse. And we can say we want to do it at x equals 100, y equals 100. So what this is going to do is this is going to combine a mouse movement and a click in, in one go. So it's real clear. I want to click, let's say 100, 100, which is somewhere over here on my screen. And there you go. So it moved the mouse over here and it clicked it. So we can try to go down just a little bit. We'll say maybe y equals 125, x equals 150. Maybe we can display that a little easier to see. There you go, it clicked this temp button. That's right on that temp, this temp folder that I have here. If you watch when I click it, it's gonna click here and shut that, so ready? And there you go, very cool. And uh, another thing that we might want to do is we might want to click and drag. Uh, that's also going to be a very useful function to do. So how would we do that? So uh, we could do pyautogui dot drag to. And this is going to uh, take the mouse wherever it is at that point in time. It's going to press the button and you can specify the button. So we could say, you know, but if we wanted to, we could say, you know, button equals right. So we could do a right click and drag, but let's just do a left click and drag by default. And, uh, and then we want to specify where we want to drag to. So if I want to drag all the way from here, let's say down to here on my screen, I could say something like, let's drag to X equals uh, 100 and we'll say Y equals 1000. 
So when I click this, it's going to drag, it's going to do a left click drag all the way across my screen from here to somewhere around here. Okay, and we could also add a duration to that. So duration equals, let's say, uh, five seconds to slow it down a bit. And there it goes. So it's actually left clicking and dragging the mouse. Uh, it's hard to see because it's not really capturing in here. So let me try to run it from in here. Let's see if I can get this to go. There you go. So you can see how it's left click and dragging. Very cool. So let me uh, close that. All right, so that's uh, clicking and dragging. And then and a lot of the functions, uh, the nice thing about PyAuto GUI is that the functions are very intuitive and they all kind of operate the same. And we can also do uh, mouse scrolling. So if we want to scroll the, the mouse wheel up and down, we could also do PyAutoGUI.scroll. And then we put in a number, and the number is the number of clicks. And you can think of the clicks as the clicks in the mouse when you roll it. It's like click, 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 click. You can kind of feel that tactile feel. That's the number of clicks that we want to do. So <clears throat> this should be a, uh, a scroll up. And then uh, we could also do pyautogui.scroll minus 20. This would be scrolling up for 10 clicks with the mouse and then scrolling down for 10 clicks with the mouse. So let's try it, see if this is going to work. I'll try to run it in here so you can see that scroll the window hopefully. There you go, it scrolled that direction. And then let's do a time.sleep, otherwise it's going to be hard to see that. Let me import the time module. We'll do time.sleep and let's do a, a three second delay between these activities. And let's run it. So there you go, you saw a delay. So let me uh, run it again from the bottom so you can see it scroll up and down. So it scrolled up, now it's gonna sleep for three seconds and then it's gonna scroll back down, very cool. And uh, we can actually combine this you know, in a similar way to uh, other functions. Oops, let me undo that. We can uh, you know, combine this with a location as well. So if, if I wanted to scroll up and down in this menu over here and I knew the location of it and it was constant, I might say you know, x equals 100, y equals 500. And doing this is gonna cause the mouse to, it's gonna combine that move function with the scroll function. So very intuitive and very useful. Um, I highly recommend you check out Pi Auto GUI. It's a fantastic package. Uh, its documentation is available here. I'll drop a link in the video links below. Um, very intuitive and uh, in addition to mouse inputs there's a lot of other things that you can do which i'll be exploring on the site so hope you found this video useful and uh, i will hopefully see you in the next video if you find ai automation and those sorts of things interesting please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video i would really appreciate it thank you bye